All right, what's going on guys? Nizu here. I've got a unboxing and review for the brand new Bioshock Infinite Limited Edition Strategy Guide. This is a 275 page hardcover guide. This is uh, from Brady Games. Gorgeous photo of the songbird on the front of this book. It's all black and gold, very modern, simplistic uh, art, artwork. It's beautiful. Here's the spine. Just all gold and black. It's got some nice detailing around the edges there. And just a very simplistic icon of a songbird there. It's gorgeous. I'm a big fan of simplistic, minimalistic designs. And uh, this is this is beautiful. So let's get into the features of the guide itself. Uh, in this limited edition, you get a bird cage key. It's a four inch enameled metal replica keychain of the iconic freedom key from the game. It's uh, it's very heavy duty, all metal. It's got a really nice. Uh, the, the keychain ring on it is heavy duty as well. And it also comes with an exclusive board game card. This is from a up and coming uh, board game that's going to be released from Plaid Hat Games called The Siege of Columbia. No word on when that's going to be released, but that's coming out soon. Key features of the guide include a foreword by the creative director and co founder of Irrational Games, Ken Levine. The Mission of Booker DeWitt, in-depth walkthrough guides you through every step of the game and highlights every collectible item. You've got illustrated maps that show you every vigor, vending machine, and static piece of gear for 100% completion. The enemies of the people, expert strategies and tactics for dealing with all of the enemies in the game. Uh, a section called the Guns of Liberty, detailed data and information about all the arms and armament of Bioshock Infinite, Infinite, Bioshock Infinite, and so much more. So here is the keychain itself. Like I said, it's all metal, very heavy duty. Even the the keychain ring on it is heavy duty as well. It's a nice like brushed uh, metal. Definitely something you want to have in your collection if you're a fan of Bioshock Infinite. Um, it also comes with this board game card. Beautiful artwork on the front and back, full color. And it looks like this is a card for the Enraged Songbird. I, uh, I cannot wait for this board game. I've been checking at least once a month to see if there's a, a release date on it. And uh, I'm old school. I, I grew up on board games, so I'm definitely looking forward to this. So let's get into the, the guide itself. And I'm going to make this as spoiler-free as possible because I don't want to ruin this for myself either. That's kind of why I just sped up the footage so you can get a glimpse of the features inside and I'm gonna be looking over this book at the same time I'm showing the footage so you've got this forward by Ken Levine and I'll read the first couple lines I like strategy guides always have I like pouring over data I like the concept art the dev team commentary I like having another part of a game I love that I can put on my shelf. Well said. That's exactly how I feel and how I've always felt about strategy guides. Um, so you've got some information on the controls, the difficulty settings, the 1999 mode and fighting enemies, uh, shield, the shield infusion, skyhook, controls eat drink and be merry just kind of gives you some some information on the drinks and snacks food in the game uh, weapons and ammo medical kits and salts 
gear, infusion, lock picks, keys and ciphers, vending machines, section on Elizabeth and how she assists you, lock picking, and tears. Section on the sights and sounds of Columbia kinetoscopes, telescopes, and voxophones. And this is the section on the Guns of Liberty. This is about all the weapons in the game, and it gives a detailed breakdown of each weapon's stats, all the upgrades you can get for each weapon, and a strategy on how to use it with some really nice concept art of each weapon. The pig volley gun. <laughs> so lots of information here on each weapon. Uh, you've got a, a section on vigors. And uh, enemy weakness to vigors shows you all of the enemies and how weak they are to each vigor, and then gives you a detailed breakdown on every single vigor stats, uh, best co combos to use, upgrades and mods for for each vigor, and then a, a very detailed explanation of each vigor. This is beautiful. Uh, section on gear, randomized gear, gives you the, the name of each piece of gear and its function, hats, shirts, boots, pants, uh, build examples. Because uh, you can equip four pieces of gear at any one time so it basically just shows you uh, what four pieces of gear work best together and uh, here is the walkthrough section itself and those detailed maps that give you uh, lots of information uh, the first time you encounter certain enemies uh, where vigors are located weapons and any collectibles on each map it also uh, explains each voxophone that you come across and what each one says. That's really cool. And here's a section on one of the mini bosses. Basically tells you uh, how many hit points they have, uh, their max, max health, and the damage they do and any, any uh, special attacks. And after the detailed walkthrough, this is towards the end of the book, you've got a section here on enemies. Gives you a, a detailed uh, explanation of each enemy, uh, tactics and strategy for dealing with each one, uh, their health points, the damage that they do. This is awesome. Beautiful artwork. <laughs> All the concept art is just spectacular. And then uh, you've got a huge section here on achievements and trophies. And uh, it actually gives a detailed explanation on how to get each trophy and achievement. So that's helpful for uh, anybody that wants to cheat out there. And then uh, <laughs> on the last page... On the last page, you've got a write-up on the that bo that Bioshock Infinite board game, and it shows you some of the other cards and figurines. Uh, I cannot wait for this. And that's about it. Uh, on the last couple pages, you've got a really nice shot of Elizabeth. And that's it. Um, so hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you have any questions at all, uh, I picked this up from Amazon for uh, a little over $22, which is well worth it. You get so much information. If you're a collector, uh, if you're a fan of Bioshock Infinite, this is definitely something you, you want to have. So uh, we'll talk to you later, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Take care.